The UNI Panthers claim a win in the opening round of the FCS playoffs as the UNI Panthers top Lamar 16 to 13. Second round opponent now is six seeded UC Davis. The Panthers will head to California for their second round matchup. Coach, uh, this opening round matchup though, uh, the win over Lamar, a really good team effort. The offense played well, the defense was outstanding, and then special teams came up big and put some points on the board for you. Well, and in, in those three phases, I would probably highlight the special teams because the two kickoff returns after they scored quickly on our defense, and then the, uh, of course, Austin Ertham on, on the three field goals. It was the difference in the football game. Austin Ertham, three for three, a career-long 44 as well. He seems to be gaining more and more confidence as it's been a long time since he's had any misses. Well, he's, he's, he's put a lot of time into it. He's, he is confident, but at the same time, he's put the work in, you know, that he knows that he can make the play, and, you know, he just has to go out and be productive, and he has, he's been very productive for us. You've got to be confident in your defense as well. After trailing early 13-3 to uh, against Lamar, your defense pitches a shutout the rest of the football game. What did you see from them that you really liked? Well, their their perseverance that was that was a key to the to the defense because they did they came out and scored I believe in the second play, uh, got down the sideline on a big play on us, and then the next series because of some scrambles and not being able to tackle the quarterback, uh, got another way and it, it was frustrating. So they really had to persevere that kind of uh, momentum that the other team had created just so we could get back into our game plan and get back to what we do well. Your team registered five sacks in that football game, two of them from Ellerson Smith. Some some key ones there in the fourth quarter. What were the keys for that defensive line getting pressure? Well, it was once we once we got control of the game a little bit, once we got the speed of the game, that's where we could take over. And I, I also felt that you know, our size took over a little bit in the second half, too, when we started the wear and tear start to show up more in the third and the fourth quarter. And of course, most of our plays came there, of course, in the fourth quarter. Bryce Douglas, uh, he was having a good nose for the football, nine tackles in the football game. Uh, that seemed like a big test for that front seven. Uh, do you feel like your guys passed with flying colors? They did. We, you know, we talked on Sunday about it, and, and they played well. It wasn't it wasn't our best performance, but uh, you know, how we gauge our players is we're always trying to find a way to to get ready for the next game because we know as we go through this process, each game will get a little bit tougher. Isaiah Nimmers had an interception in the end zone right before halftime. The defense that time seemed like it was kind of that bend but don't break type mentality. Good to see the guys really buckle down if the other team gets in the red zone. Exactly. I tell you what, Isaiah made a tremendous intercept uh, right before half. And then when they got down inside our red zone and they're kicking field goals, uh, a couple turnovers, and the defense went out and stopped them three and out, and, and created a longer field goal, and ultimately was that changed the course of the game. Nimmers left the game with the uh, injury, uh, and when I think of injuries, I think of linebackers. It's kind of been a linebacker shuffle all season. How do you evaluate the guys that stepped in there and, and, and played well in the football game on Saturday? Blake Thomas, uh, Duncan Furch, and Alfonso Lambert. Well, Duncan leads the way, but uh, Alfonso Lambert did a good job. Uh, of course, uh, you know, when uh, uh, Blake did a great job, but uh, you know, you know, Bryce Flater really came in in a key situation, got back in the game in the second half, and that's when we got hurt at the outside linebacker again when Alfonso went down. So we had to do some shuffling and get the right guys on the field again, and Bryce was one of them. Are you impressed with guys that haven't seen a lot of playing experience throughout the course of the season are able to step in there and be so productive? I'm not surprised. I'm just pleased that they were they're prepared. That's the whole thing. Is is how we practice. I think really really that's the key to our success, particularly late in the season. Is when when guys start to get hurt because of what we do early in the season to make sure our backups are getting equal reps as our first team is. I think that really benefits us more later in the season. All right, more coming up here with you and I had football coach Mark Farley, and up next a story on AJ and Trevor Allen, a senior and junior on the UNI football team. Stay tuned to Panther Sports Talk.